first things first, just tell me how you're feeling after that. Oh, I'm beat up right now, man. The, the first one through four rounds, uh, he, was, he was getting me. He was getting me frustrated. He got me with some interesting movements, some in and out plays, and I uh, had to face a lot of adversity tonight to get that finish, and it was, it was perfect. It was uh, beautiful. Yeah, where does that rack, rank up for you in, in terms of career moments? I mean, that's one of the craziest arenas, uh, reactions that I think I've heard in a while. Um, I mean, I, I only got, what, this is like my fourth, fifth knockout ever in my career. So this is uh, 27 fights in and to see this stuff finally happening. And uh, it's beautiful, man. <laughs> Obviously, he's a really tough guy. Um, you know, you said you kind of struggled early on. What do you attribute that to? Is it just kind of mistakes or were there other things you could have done differently? Nah, man, he just had an awkward style. You know, I had to figure it out eventually. And uh I had to stay true to my plan. Um, my uh, teammate Ren Hiramoto was like, you know, be calm the whole time. You know, be, be a ninja out there. Just be calm. You know, try not to, try not to go too much. You know, with, with the force in. And uh, that one was just a flow. You know, I didn't even force that. I just flew it and it landed so well. And obviously, it was wild to watch. But can you talk me through it from your perspective uh, when you spun? I'm assuming you obviously felt the contact. Did you did you kind of realize what happened, or did it take you a minute to process it? I mean, once I went down, I wanted to hit him with one more shot, and I realized, oh, he's really out. Like you know, like. But um, you know, it was just my coach Cushman too. Is like you know, just telling me to jab, jab away, and every time he he is um, getting thrown at, he's giving a reaction. And I think one rounds one through four is what got him comfortable exiting without you know really defending himself. So I threw that kick, missed, and my exit allowed that. His exit allowed me to hit that spin back. Because, thank you, Sergio. Congratulations! I mean, that was beyond amazing. Uh, talk to me about you down three rounds, nothing, as you already said. To keep your confidence up to still be able to find a knockout. Like, what's going through your head in between those rounds? Uh, my coach Duke Group is just being honest with me. He's like, "Yo, we're down three rounds, man." And um, you know, I recently saw a boxing fight where I think it was Crawford. He was his coach was like, "Yo, you're down this round." And that round, he went and got the finish, and I felt like I needed that. You know, I needed that in my life to face that adversity and to make me come out here and be a dog. You know, <clears throat> round four, I was so different than rounds one through three. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, that was a really scary KO on, on the reverse side. For sure. How do, you, how do you balance, you know, ecstatic, the whole arena's going crazy, but then your opponent's out. He's out for a long time. Like, yeah. how do you balance that? I mean, it's, it's, it's not something I want to do. You know, it's not I – mean, I don't want to hurt anybody so bad that they're unconscious like that or have damage later on in their life. So, you know, definitely um, it's part of the job, unfortunately, but, you know, uh, it is what it is, man. I, at the end of the day, it's kind of bogus to say, but it's better him than me. So that's how I got to be when I'm out here. I'm a very nice person and kind human being, but, uh, you know, he would have done the same to me. So uh, my last question, obviously, they announced the Grand Prix. You're in it. You're the champion in the past. Bellator has allowed the champion to pick their opponent. If they give you that opportunity, you're the man. Who are you picking? I'm not here to pick anyone, man. They're, they're, I'm going to let them pick my opponent for me. Um, I'm not the boss of that. You know, they'll tell me who I fight, and I'll never say no to fight. Thank you so much. Hey, Sergio, I mean, congratulations. You know, right now, if there are any doubters out there, I don't think after that performance there will be any more. But, you know, going into this Grand Prix, I don't think there's any a better storyline for you uh, coming in as the defending champ to beat the lineal champ and then you know, completely unify the belts and then go into the Grand Prix. But let's recapture that journey coming all the way here, you know, striving out of your little uh, older brother's shadow, building your own brand, building your own legacy. It's not easy out there. What is your message for all those little brothers out there that are trying to build their own path? Man, uh, just believe in yourselves. You know, that's one thing I lacked for a while is the, the belief in myself. And I feel like if I had that trait still tonight that I wouldn't have got that job done in the fourth or fifth round. I, I, was, I was mentally kind of frustrated out there. I was like, but I never allowed it to like destroy my, my my positivity out of there as well. You know, I knew that I could do something great and I had two rounds to accomplish that and I got it done within what three minutes and 49 seconds of that round. So yeah, man, it was just patience. You know, I'm really good at being patient. It's 10 years of professional fighter and things are starting to come out to the way I visualize them. <clears throat> yeah, congratulations, Sergio. And I'd just like to start by commending you on not throwing that final punch. It shows the class that you have as a martial artist and a fighter. Uh, but the other day we were talking about how you said this was the first fight camp where you felt like you could really control your anxiety. You felt like you were very grounded. Was that helping you during this fight or did your anxiety kind of get the best of you maybe during those first couple rounds? No, I think, um, I think, uh, I don't think so. Honestly, I just think, uh, as you know, 28, so my 27th pro fight. So I think, um, I had to learn how to control the anxiety for the fight week. You know, I, no matter what I come out here, I'm gonna be anxious and all that, you know, so I, I still had anxiety and, so I had what I needed to have to come out here and perform and fight another human being. You know, it's crazy. It's a crazy job. But uh, 
Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just, I feel like I'm growing up. I'm finally understanding my role in this life and my role as a, a mixed martial artist. <clears throat> and what's in store for you for the holidays? Uh, a Christmas with my family. It's been a while, so get some time with my, my fiance right there. I <laughs> miss Thanksgiving. So yeah, just some time. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Sergio, congratulations on the win. Um, I'm curious to know the condition of your leg because you took a lot of leg kicks and it looked like you even got that you lost your balance or got knocked down a few. So you limp in. Is there your leg okay or yeah, ankle? It's, um, he kicked my bone plenty of times. I was checking a couple kicks and um, it's more of more of more on the bone for this one. Like usually, like the muscle on the calf hurts, but right now it's like my actual bone. So I think I was uh, checking some kicks, but yeah, he was throwing those those motherfuckers pretty damn hard. <laughs> yes, sir. And Sergio, one more for me. I'm I'm not sure if you saw this, but your brother won a, a pretty big wager on you. He just yeah. tweeted he won twenty eight thousand dollars on oh, you tonight. Man. So see, uh, oh, you won a cold one. Oh man, I'm I'm just glad uh, whoever bet it on me, um, you know, they, they won some money tonight. You know, uh, I want some good money too, so I'm happy for all of us. All right, just a couple on the Zoom here. Jay, go ahead. Sergio, congratulations. Good to talk to you again. Um, you know, just picking up on that topic, going into this fight, you as the champion were actually a slight underdog, and I'm just wondering what your reaction was to that. Uh, no, there's no reactions to that. I don't pay attention to that stuff, honestly. I'm not a better – I really don't tune into bets and all that, so I think it's just more motivation, man. You know, everybody overlooks me, and it's all good, so um, that gave me the drive tonight to, to be looked at now, so – that's good to hear. And, you know, going into the Grand Prix, I mean, normally coming off a fight, we'd be talking about who the next contender is. It's really not going to matter in a sense once the tournament gets going. But what does this do for your confidence going into that Grand Prix? Uh, honestly, it just makes me want to work harder. You know, I got dominated the first four rounds. Uh, I got some stuff that I need to work on and uh, definitely got an awesome knockout. But, you know, there's some stuff that I need to address for my career for longevity. And you know, that's what I'm here for. I hopefully got another, another eight to ten years in me. So you right over here. So you threw the spinning back fist a lot throughout this fight, but it seemed like, particularly on the last one that ended the fight, it caught it by surprise. What do you think you did differently to catch by surprise right there? Um, I think just being patient, man. Honestly, he uh, he started to get real comfortable in there. You know, we're kind of sharing some laughs in there too. He took me down. I'm like, you motherfucker, and he started laughing and stuff. So I think uh, he got comfortable, um, you know, dictating where, where the fight was going. He was doing an excellent job um, beating me on the takedowns. Uh, some nice jabs into takedown entries that I wasn't really um, picking on up so well. But uh, yeah, I think he just got really comfortable and um, his, exits were, or his exits weren't as you know calculated and, and that's when I took advantage. And I'm sure as you could imagine, there's a ton of reaction online to the highlight that was your knockout. Uh, a lot of people are saying it was knockout of the year. What do you think? Is that knockout of the year in your opinion? Uh, that's the knockout of my career. So uh, hopefully it's knockout of the year. <laughs> we'll see, man. Um, there's been some crazy knockouts, but uh, I think against a, a opponent like Horiguchi, 29 and three, to pull something off like that, man, and to, to see how he, his body reacted, you know, it's crazy. It, it took a long time for him to get out of the fight, which is, you know, wild. wild Thanks, sport. Sergio. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Sergio, the last one, man. Thanks. No problem. Recording stopped. <laughs>